Hello, I am Dr. Suhasini Inamdar, obstetrician and gynecologist, consultant, St. Philomena's Hospital and Cloud9 Old Airport Road, Bangalore, India. Couples uh, having different RH blood groups, husband being RH positive and the lady being uh, RH negative, normally doesn't come in the way of pregnancy. And uh, normally they will not have any problem if they are trying to conceive for the first time. Only thing they have to keep in mind that if the lady is undergone some miscarriages or she is terminated her pregnancy or she is delivered but not taken the anti-D which is required if the baby is RH positive or in case of terminations without even knowing what is the blood group normally we give it. So if the lady is not taken that then in second or subsequent pregnancies the lady may face a problem with her fetus. So normally if the mother is not taken anti-D, then she produces antibodies against RH positive cells. So if the mother develops antibodies against RH positive blood, then she will transfer these antibodies to the fetus and these antibodies then they damage the fetal red blood cells. The fetus becomes anemic and develops lot of edema all over the body and the blood flow to the heart of the fetus and to the brain of the fetus is affected. And if it is in a minor form, then when the baby is born, it is born with high level of jaundice which may affect the brain also. And sometimes the anemia in utero is so bad that the baby succumbs. So keeping these things in mind, in second and third pregnancy, the couple should be much more vigilant. And after any termination or miscarriages, anti-D to be taken is a golden rule.